Not every awesome laser has to have the latest and greatest in extruded frame technology or autofocus or some of the other bells and whistles that are starting to pop up on diode lasers uh, these days. Sometimes a great laser can use a, a standard framework that's been around a long time and avoid some of those, those trappings that are, sh are starting to show up and it can still be a great laser. Now this is the Two Trees TTS 20 Pro. Uh, Two Trees sent it to me to have a look at and in this video I'm gonna see if it's just long in the tooth or if it really is a great laser. So let's get started. Hey, how's it going Steve here? Welcome back to my shop. Now, when Two Trees sent me this TTS 20 Pro, uh, I looked at the marketing material and thought, oh, this is kind of old school. Who's going to want this? But the reality is it's a 20 watt laser. It's reasonably quick. It comes with a whole bunch of features that we'll look at here in a second. And in the end, it's actually a pretty decent laser for under $700. So let's take a quick look at, at what we get. Now, when you take this TTS 20 Pro out of the box, I would say it's probably 95% assembled. You screw the controller onto the front rail, uh, run a couple of cables through some cable restraints and put some zip ties on and uh, put a limit switch on with two screws, plug the laser module in and you're ready to go. It takes maybe 10, 15 minutes to get this installed. It's pretty quick. And when you're done, uh, you get a, a standard uh, 2020 aluminum extrusion frame. I mentioned the controller mounts on the front rail. Cables come out the top, which I don't personally like, but it's not really an issue. Now it does have a nice adjustment knob here on the X axis to tighten the belt. And the laser module is a full 20 watt laser. So, uh, you know, it'll do 99% of what most people will want. The cabling uh, is a bit unruly, but we'll talk about that. And it does come with an air assist, which is nice. Now it is old school focus. So it comes with this focusing block. Uh, it does also come with, with a, a honeycomb plate and these plastic plugs that you can use to hold down material. I think it's actually a nice idea. These come from, uh, from like an auto supply place. You can buy these. Uh, you might be able to steal this idea for your own honeycomb. Uh, but that's the laser and it, it's really simple and it's equally simple to use. Now getting some of the, the modern day lasers configured in Lightburn can sometimes be an adventure because you plug them in, they don't get discovered by Lightburn and you end up either loading a profile provided by the manufacturer or manually getting things configured. The good news here with the TTS 20 Pro is, and I would say being a little bit, uh, you know, on the trailing edge, uh, this one, you plug it into Lightburn, Lightburn discovers it, and in two minutes you're ready to go. It's got a configuration set up. So uh, configuration is a snap, and once we're in Lightburn, we can start looking at a few samples here. Now, as usual, I start with a cut test in three millimeter uh, wood, and you can see it looks really good here. Now, I also did my gradient grayscale test at various speeds, and about 800 millimeters per minute there looks about the best. And finally, I did the engraving, photo engraving of, of my dog photo, and this is grayscale. Now, I did probably have way too much power here since anywhere where it's dark here, you can actually feel quite a, a, a depth to the engraving. So I could have either used a lot less power or a lot more speed. And that's actually encouraging because that means you're gonna have more power and, and then you're, you, you may necessarily know what to do with. So uh, good, good all around here from a, from a performance perspective on wood. So next, since I had a big handful of, of metal business cards, I tried to do a quick engraving on those. And you can see here in real time how quickly I'm going. It's about 9,000 millimeters per minute and roughly 100% power. So. Uh, you can see it's moving along really quickly and when you're done the results actually look pretty remarkable and you know there's my company logo it looks it looks uh, pretty much as i would expect it to look so it came out really well now since the tts 20 pro is a diode laser we can both engrave and cut black acrylic so i set up a little project here uh, did an engraving of a happy face and then I did a cutout and you can see the result looks pretty good. Uh, even the edges are nice and clean, which is uh, something you'd really expect. So it turned out all right. And then finally, I wanted to do some stainless steel. So I have these stainless steel coins they are about an inch in diameter and I laid down uh, a logo on those just to see how it would turn out. 
and of course it's it's stainless steel so i'm going quite a bit slower but you can see the result and i actually got a bit of a kneeling on the actual on the pie slice that's why it's a little bit blue there at the top uh, looked kind of cool actually so uh, stainless steel works really well here as well okay so all in all good laser for the money uh, we wouldn't be complete though unless we talked about things i really like here and and some things i, I well honestly really didn't like uh, on the pro side, the assembly is fantastic. It's basically assembled out of the box. A couple of screws for a limit switch and the, and the controller module. Plug in some cables and you're ready to go. So really an easy assembly. The pricing is good. It's great if you're on a budget and maybe this is your first time a laser or you're looking for a, a real budget 20 watt laser that doesn't really sacrifice so much on features. Uh, you know, good pricing here and kind of last on the on the pro side here. Some of the features that are included are actually really good. Air assist is included uh, as well as that nice honeycomb workspace, uh, which has both measurements on it, but it's also uh, it's got a, a metal plate on the bottom of it and you can pull the corners off. They just slide off and you can clean out the workspace uh, because they get, you know, you get crumbs in there. So really good idea. And it, you know, it's something that even on higher end lasers, you don't get uh, out of the box. So, uh, so good features. Now on the con side, there were definitely some things uh, I, I think that really need to be addressed. Uh, first on the list, it looks vintage, and I mean that by, by you know, if you look at, at virtually any laser from two years ago, they all looked like this with 2020 extrusion. It really looked kind of kind of like an experiment as opposed to something like a product. It doesn't really impact the operation. It's more visual appeal. Uh, also, kind of on this vintage feel, the cable handling is, is old style. Cables just kind of dangle everywhere and... and they don't get in the way, but it just looks messy. And finally, uh, again, on the on the old old model, uh, manual focusing here, which isn't a bad thing, but what is bad is it still uses a, a separate focus block that you slide under the laser module and then tighten the thumb screw, rather than having a, a swing down, uh, uh, you know, metal uh, pivot that you can drop onto the material and then tighten up the laser and put and then swing it back up. Uh, so that in itself isn't a big deal. It doesn't really, again, impact performance, but, but you're going to lose this block, this focusing block, and then you're going to complain to two trees that you need a new one. So it's, you know, it's those days are, are done. Anyway, I, I, I like the laser and, and I'll put an affiliate link down below if you are interested in buying one, but Really, when you're comparing this laser, you're comparing it to things like the Long Array 5 uh, 20 watt, which is similarly priced these days. And uh, you know, you want to you want to do your homework. I did a Long Array 5 uh, 20 watt review not that long ago, and you can check the link up here. And we'll call that a video. So get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.